Yo, what's up guys? It's DJ Rick Webb, and this right here is the drop system from Jetpack Bags. So yes, this right here is the drop system from Jetpack Bags, and as you guys know on the channel, Jetpack Bags, they are the homies. We see them at all the shows. What's up, what's up? We're at Jetpack. We gotta stop in, say what's up to the boys. Jetpack Bags. If you guys don't got one already, seriously. And they are some dope guys because like you and me, they are also DJs. So it's DJs designing bags for DJs, and by far, these are the best DJ bags on the market. And with that said, I have their latest new bag set up in front of me and it's called the Drop System because it's actually a system for carrying your gear that's untraditional. The goal of this bag system is to replace big heavy road cases and big bulky backpacks and make it a lot easier and a lot more efficient to carry your gear to events. So in this video, I'm gonna be going through the system, showing you guys the features of the two different bags that I have in front of me, showing you what all you can carry in them, and then we'll wrap up the video with some of my little personal thoughts and conclusions, as I've actually had this product now. I've had the Jetpack Snap right here, which is the first bag we'll get into. I've had their backpack since like March. Because of COVID and all that, they pushed back the rollout of this product. I've had the drop now for over a month. So I've been able to test this out and see how it's going to work in the real world. For me, we've been doing events here, luckily in North Carolina, so I can give you guys a little bit of an insight here at the end. But first, let's dive into each one of the bags. So I have the two bags right here. Like I mentioned, this is the Snap Backpack, and this is the Drop Roller Bag. And first off here, I want to talk about the Snap Bag, because I've had this thing since March, and I've been loving it. snap bag or the snap backpack right here. First off, we gotta talk about a little bit on the design features right here. This is a very slim backpack. It is a very non-traditional DJ bag. DJ bags normally are giant, they're huge. This is the smallest, the most slim bag that Jetpack makes and they're making bags specifically for DJs. And we'll get to why that is here in a second. But I love the fact that it is slim and it is small because it makes it the perfect everyday backpack. You don't have to cram a lot of stuff in it. You can just throw in your laptop, some pencils, some paper, headphones, and basically go to any event that you need. You can go to your meetings. It's the perfect everyday backpack. Now, some cool key features that they implemented. One is this little side pouch right here, which if you guys saw in the intro shot, it's perfectly set up so that if you just fling the bag on your right shoulder, you can easily access whatever you have in there, whether it's keys or your wallet. You can pull out everything nice and easy and put it right back. And it's in a very concealed area on the backpack. Unlike, say, if you had a big pouch right here in the middle on the back, that's pretty easy for someone to come up and probably snatch it out. Being here on the side, it's in a very secure area. Now, obviously, with all jetpack bags, they have a pass-through right here on the bottom. You might not be able to see it, but that makes it easy to slide onto luggage. Another feature that we find in all of jetpack backpacks is the 180 degree design so you can unzip this thing completely and fold it out 180 degrees to access everything that you have within your bag. I also point out that this feature right here is very handy if you are traveling if you are flying because you don't have to take your laptop out now. When this folds down to the side your laptop's right there you can just slide your bag right through the x-ray scanners at TSA and you're good to go. So now let's dive into all the pockets and pouches and what all I have in my snap bag. So in Inside of the snap bag, we have a pretty large laptop sleeve up here. As you can see, I have plenty of room in here and I have both my iPad already in there and my 15 inch or 15.6 inch HP Spectre laptop. This thing is no joke, look at my hand. You could easily fit a 15 inch MacBook in there, no problem, good to go. We have three pen slots right here. We have a business card holder slot. I do not know how many times these business card slot holders have came in handy. Both in this bag and my other Jetpack bags, it makes it so easy at events, at meetings, to whip out business cards and give them to people. Very, very handy, and I love having this feature on my bag. Below that, we have another pouch right here. I have my earplugs in here. Then we have a zipper pouch right here. You can put whatever you want in here. I have a variety of cables in here, from USB cables, aux cables, RCA to headphone jacks, 
USB type C cables to charge my phone, additional quarter inch to headphone jacks, all kinds of stuff in here. Just a bunch of spare cables that I might need at my events. That's all on this side. Up here on this side, we have two big pouches here and a giant headphone pouch. You can fit literally any size headphone probably in here. I have my Crossfade 2 wirelesses right here from Vmodo. Um, inside of these pouches right here, I have my laptop charger right here for my 15 inch Spectra. Uh, and then in this pouch right here, I have some DJ Life face mask, because you never know when you need a face mask nowadays. Uh, these are available at shopdjlife.com. I have a little first aid kit. I have my light for my sticker light that lights up on the front of my laptop. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check it out. And I have some sanitizer and some ibuprofen in case you get headaches at events. So got all kinds of little knickknacks and stuff that you might need, face masks sanitizer all that good stuff that's pretty much it like i said it's the perfect essential everyday bag if you're going to an event where all you need is your laptop you can easily fit everything you need in here spare cables to hook up to their mixers your laptop your headphones you're good to go. Business cards. It's got basically all the essentials that you need. It's perfect for going to meetings. It's perfect for going to little events. It's perfect when you're traveling and just need your computer to get office work done. It's great. Now, as much as I love the drop bag for everyday use, nice, slim, portability, all that good stuff, this, like I said, is a system, which brings us to the drop roller bag. my knees here to show you guys the drop bag so this right here is the drop bag first thing I want to point out same high quality build jetpack makes some high quality bags this is no exception there are handles all over this thing there's a handle on the front there's a handle on the top there's a handle on the side super strong handle these aren't gonna rip and there's a handle on the back that extends because it is a roller bag it's got wheels and it rolls. And given that it is a roller bag, the size of this was actually designed to be the same size as a carry-on bag on an airplane. Right here is carry-on size, here's the bag. It is carry-on size approved. And yet again, like the snap bag, there is a quick access spot. It's right here, as you guys can see in the orange slash red stitching. It's Velcroed shut. So inside of right here, you can pull out your DJ Life face mask available at shopdjlife.com. If you need to put on a face mask before you walk in somewhere, you can also easily pull out a business card and give that to whoever you need to give it to. Very nice. It's a very big spot. You can probably put a wallet or keys in there too. I'm not sure if I would do that. I would rather put it in my snap bag. Um, but you got plenty of room up top here to put some items. So now if we open up the drop bag here from the top, open up the lid, it pops open. This is a top loading bag. So it opens up from the top and you load stuff in from the top. So as you guys can see, I have it loaded up full of gear, but I kind of want to show you the internals first. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out everything that I have in here. And I'll talk about what all I have in here and what all can fit inside the drop here towards the end. But as you guys can see, I got quite a lot of stuff in here. All right, so on the inside here, the first thing to point out is that all the walls are padded. There's a lot of padding on the sides, on the back, and you have a padded divider as well, so you can divide up what you have in here. So whatever you put in here, don't worry about it. You got padding on all sides. It's also very, very rigid and hard, so it has a little give to it when you put stuff in it. It's gonna keep your devices secure. And also with this bag, you get a padded box, which we'll talk about more here in detail. But this padded box will slide inside of here nice and easy and allow you to divide up what you have inside of your drop. So now let's talk about what you can fit inside of the drop. So what can you fit inside of the drop bag? Well, you can fit the Pioneer S9. You can fit that in there nice and easy. You can also fit the new S11. You can fit the Rain 70, you can fit the Rain 70. 72 and even with that mixer right there you still have room for a laptop stand as well reasoning on why you would want to put an s9 a 72 or an s11 in here uh, maybe you're going to a venue a club a performance a festival etc where they already have cdjs they already have turntables and you want to bring your mixer say they have a pioneer 800 mixer and you rather bring an s9 you can put this in your bag and bring it along to the event you have your mixer, you can hook up to their turntables, their CDJs, and you're ready to go. 
A lot of DJs do that already. So for me, if I'm traveling to an event and I can't bring my giant furniture booth, this is a great solution. I can throw my S9 in here, I already have my laptop and everything in the snap bag, and then I just have to carry my Rain 12 with one hand, and I'm good to go. Or if you'd rather flip that, you can actually fit a Rain 12 inside of here, and you can put your S9, your S11, whatever, in a road case. This is big enough to fit any turntable you want in here. You can fit it inside of the drop bag. You can fit one turntable, or it can fit one mixer. So in that case with the S9 inside the drop bag, as you guys can see right there, I actually have some space on the side to put some cables. You might've seen that when I was pulling stuff out of it. Um, but right now it's kind of level with the top of the drop bag. And there's actually another feature to the drop bag and that is that it expands. Remember we have the box here that fits cables. So what you do is there's another zipper that you unzip here and it's an expansion pouch. It allows this thing to now expand up to fit more stuff. And that's where the padded box comes in. You can place your padded box inside of this top area right here. So you can fit all of your cables that you need for your event to hook up your mixer and everything, to hook into the sound system that's there. You can fit it all inside of the drop bag and you're good to go. Now the drop bag does fit more than just like an S9 or a Rain 72. It can also fit a full size turntable. So if you wanted to put the Rain 12 inside of the drop bag, and put your S9 or your S11 or whatever in a road case, you can do that as well. And of course, it can also fit DJ controllers. So without the drop extended, you can fit a Pioneer SB3 in here, no problem. Then if you wanna fit a bigger controller, such as an SR, an SR2, or a 400, uh, you use the expansion to go like this, and you put the box upside down on top of the actual controller to keep it padded. So just like that with the padded box upside down, you can now fit an SR2 in here as well. And an SR2 is gonna be a lot thinner than an S9, so you're gonna have a lot more room on the front side to fit more of those cables, laptops, fans, etc. Now, unfortunately, due to the restrictions of trying to keep this a carry-on luggage size, the drop does not fit your typical like uh, SX2, SX3, or the brand new 1000 SRT. Those will not fit in here. Size-wise, if you have something that I didn't mention and you wanna see if it'll fit, it is 14 inches across, it's 21 inches tall with the expansion right here, and 16 inches wide. So it can fit anything within that size range. But I don't wanna keep you guys hanging. You guys that do have 1000s and you wanna put 1000s in jetpack bags, the drop system is a three bag system. So right now, snap is bag one, the drop is bag two. There is a third bag coming that will be for full size controllers such as the 1000 SRT, the SX2, the SX3, and I think they're gonna be making one for the SZ as well. So stay tuned, next year we're gonna be getting a bigger size for those full size controllers. This does bring up a good point that this is a DJ bag, it's designed by Jetpack for DJs, by DJs, but it doesn't have to be used for just DJ stuff. If you are a videographer, if you are a podcaster, if you have camera gear, this thing has a variety of uses. It's a fully padded bag, it's got this padded box, it's got padded dividers in it, so you could come up with a lot of different usages for this bag other than DJ gear. So now this brings me to the point of talking about how I'm using the drop system. So, I've already shown you everything that I have in the snap bag. Let me show you everything that I'm putting into the drop. So we've kind of already talked about it, but I take my S9 out of my custom furniture booth and I put it in here. I bring along my laptop stand, and then in the bottom half of the drop, I have enough room to fit two extension cords. I have a 15 foot surge protector one right here, and I have a 25 foot Furman power strip right here. So I fit both of those in the bottom of the drop bag. And now this is where we get to the padded box. So inside of my padded box, I put a roll of gaff tape, my anchor USB hub to connect both my Rain 12 and my S9 to my computer, two IEC power cables to power the Rain 12 and the S9, a variety of different XLR cables to connect to speakers, to connect my microphone to my S9, etc., and the two USB cables to connect to both the S9 and the Rain 12. I also have a multi-tool in here in case I ever need it and another DJ Live face mask. And then with this fully loaded, it easily slides into the top portion of the drop bag itself. And now with the drop fully loaded, I can show you the next coolest feature of the drop and that is the fact that the snap drops in. So by design, you don't have to carry the snap on your backpack with the drop. You can actually unzip this front zipper right here and this comes down and allows you to drop in the snap. 
So you take your snap bag, and you might have seen this in the intro shot, and you can slide it right down into the top, like so. There's a clip that comes up and clips it into place. And then you tighten down the clip, and you're good to go. And this actually widens the platform of the drop, so it's more stable and stands up better, even though by itself it will not fall over, but it adds more weight and buoyancy, so you can lift up on your handle, and then take both bags in one nice roll, put all the weight on the wheels and not on your back. So for me, if I'm traveling to an event, I can bring my S9 in here. If they already have CDJs or they already have turntables, I'll be good to go. Or I can grab one of my turntables in an Odyssey case and carry both of these to the event. And I also wanted to point out something awesome and that is the fact that these two bags are now separate. You could buy a giant DJ bag, like Jetpack makes one, it's called the Prime, it's huge. And you can literally fit everything that I have in these two bags inside of the front. But that means that you're going to put that giant backpack on your back, hurt your back like it's giant, it's huge. Um, now with this, you can separate the two. So during the week, you can just basically take the snap and go to your meetings with your light little compact slim bag that has just your laptop and everything. You can take that to your meetings. And then when it's the weekend time and you need to go to your event, you just slide it into the drop, take both bags to the event, and you're good to go. The two bag system here is just a lot more practical for any DJ, both mobile, club, whatever. Mobile DJs, you can store your SB3, your SR2, and all the cables you need for your event in here. And you can keep your laptop and everything in here. So you can go to your wedding planning meetings, your consultations with just your snap bag. And then when it's the weekend, Saturday, and you go to the wedding, you grab your DJ controller that's in your drop, or with the third bigger bag that'll be coming next year, it allows you to put your 1000 SRT, all the cables that you need, et cetera, in that. You bring that to your event, and you're all set. Uh, this is a genius idea from Jetpack. I love it. So now let's talk about the question that you all have. How much does it cost? First off, the snap bag. The snap bag is the slimmest, most compact bag that they make, and it's also the cheapest bag that Jetpack makes. It is selling right now for $120, and the drop is $250, but they do have a bundle deal right now where you can get both for $299. Now, if we compare that cost to something else in the Jetpack lineup, we have the bag that I've already mentioned before, the Prime. It's their giant backpack. I don't even own one. It's huge. It's humongous. I have their slim bag right here. They call this slim. This is the snap. This is the slim. The prime is like both of these combined. Like it sticks out this far. Like it's huge. But it'll fit all of this gear. That bag costs $200. And me personally, I'd rather have this two bag set up, put all the heavy stuff in the roller bag so it's not on my back. It's not straining my back. Also having it up that high on my back with fragile gear like the S9 makes it more susceptible to break. Um, not that I think it would in a jetpack bag, but you get where I'm going with it. I would rather have a setup like this where I can put all the heavy gear on the ground and roll it than hurt my back with some giant backpack. So this is a awesome solution and jetpack shout out to you guys for creating this cool concept of a new solution for us DJs to carry gear with. So that right there wraps up my video, my little review on the Jetpack Drop system. Like I said, I've had this now for a little while, I've been playing around with it, trying to see how it works best for me. I kind of went through that already, but it's a very innovative system and I can't wait to see the third edition of the bag system with the giant full-size one coming sometime next year. So stay tuned for that on the channel. I will definitely have that to show you guys because as you guys might know already, I have a 1000 SRT now, and I would love to have the giant bag to take that to events as well. If you guys would like to check out the drop system or any of the jetpack bags, I will link it in the description down below. I may have a discount code, I'm not entirely sure, but if I do, it'll be in the description down below as well and on the screen right now. But that wraps up the video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave down in the comment section down below what you guys think of the drop system from Jetpack or Jetpacks in general, or just how you doing. Leave it down in the comment section down below as always. Hit the subscribe button for more videos, more product reviews, more tip videos. Let me know in the comments what videos you guys are looking forward or you want me to do. Let me know. Don't forget to turn on post notifications. And like always, guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep the record spinning, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.